Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2! Last time, we finished up our business in Xanarkand, and we were automatically deposited into Kilika, at which point I recorded this episode. And it didn't work. I have no idea why, but my file, once I was done recording the episode, showed a quarter second of video and no audio from me, and just the game audio on a blank screen. <laughs> So, I wonder what this let's awesome do this again. Is like. Well, it's definitely awesome. <laughs> it will be, won't it? Oh my god. Keep this up and someone will beat us to it. These Sorry. children. Sorry. Yes, hey, they're children at this point. Up. Pain, just leave them behind. The hell with it. Leave them behind. Pain, yeah, if you haven't done the events in Kilika, by the way, uh, at this point, you'll have to do a bunch of things, including set up the Squatter Monkey side quest over to the right, on the right side of the uh, plank there, over there. Uh, make sure to talk to the guy and zoom in on the, uh, the building they're working on. Make sure you talk to Donna and loot all the treasures around here. I have already done that in a previous episode, but uh, if you haven't, make sure you do that before moving on. Anyway. This time, we've got Maven Nuge's briefing, and we can actually make it into the woods this time. So, cool. What is with the clothing fit situation in Spear? Nobody wears, like, normal clothes. Everyone's wearing weird half-clothes or... It's like some people think that it's summer, hunters? and some of them think it's think winter. So. Look over there! What kind of clothes are these? Who's that? The character design for this game is weird. I think it's based off of like, oh, I don't remember. There, there was, it was a country, maybe, maybe Thailand or something like that. It was based off like um, an Eastern Asian island nation. And like, the youth league, right? and their like uh, historical kind of clothing style. It's just really weird to me, you know, being from Canada and it being Greetings, cold friends. more often than. Uh, An important sphere is hidden in Kilika Temple, a these sphere documenting allow. the true history of Spira. We are here today to demand that New Yevon make the contents of that sphere public. Yet, as always, the voice seeking truth goes ignored. My friends, I ask you, why? Because New Yevon wants to hide the truth, just as the temples did before them. I tell you now, this has gone on long enough. My friends, stand with me, and together we will bring the truth back to the people. Well, he is a charismatic leader and a good speaker. But let's not overdo it. Our opponents aren't as young as they used to be. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the one thing I will say is that not exactly what I had expected. Considering we've seen both leaders. Hey, that's our sphere. Oh, Poopy. Did a child translate so this game? So what now? Call it quits. Don't know about you, but I could use an awesome sphere. To do hmm. what with? Okay. You watch them. They can't decide who it belongs to. I say we make it our own. Some people, or some of them, right. turn into job right. spheres, but <laughs> other than that, I don't know. This game is weird. Anyway, mission time. Like I was saying, though, um, of both the leaders, um, Berlai, uh, the Praetor of New Yevon, I skipped through that a little fast, find the, uh, the awesome sphere. That's their quest. But uh, also note in the top right of the mini-map there, uh, there's an extra little platform. That'll be important for later. But yeah, both of the leaders of Berlai and Nuge. Nuge I find a lot more interesting. Hand over the sphere. Better voice actor. Temples have controlled Spira's secrets long enough. Better speaker, more charisma. Spheres? Secrets? What's this about? Go back to Don't Bavel. play dumb. We know you're guarding something. Yeah, that's right. Hey, we're here to guard our families from rabble like you. What are you talking about? What'd you say? 
Why do you guys have I to point guns at everybody? Well, we're not going that way. Uh, one of the important aspects of doing this now, or of setting up the uh, quest with the squatter monkeys, is now that we can find them since we're actually in the forest. And you want to do this in chapter one because I don't think you have another option of doing it until later and you end up missing out on the garment grid, I think until like chapter five or something like that. I don't remember it being any good, but uh, you get a Chaos Maelstrom Garment Grid from doing all this. But you can get it a lot earlier, I think in Chapter 3 or something like that. You need to find 13 of them. One. Two. Uh, there is a map for these, by the way. It's on uh, ffexodus.com. It's where I found it anyway. And it, uh, it's accurate. Uh, there's supposed to be 13 of these things, and I've been able to find them all. I'm just going to keep going with our uh, characters in whatever it is here, whichever uh, gun mage job class here. So that's three. And there should be one over here somewhere. There we go. If I don't go to an area, it's, uh, there's nothing there. And you can fight the uh, proto Chimera here if you need to get uh, your abilities here from him. As far as the stats for all of the enemies, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, there's a password involving Squirter Monkey and Squatter Monkey, and I don't care because it doesn't matter. But it does kind of reference something that we're going to get access to in a little bit here. If you go over this way we can see this little cutscene here. Now I did get... Stop that. Got the one here, right? Yeah, okay, I got it. Uh, you can't see them on screen for some service. reason. Um, they, they're all invisible. You just have to mash, basically, to find them unless you have a map, which, Easy of course, time. I do. And the map is quite nice. Makes this a lot easier, and I don't have to fumble around trying to find things by scaling or, you know, pounding around the map, you know, like I would do in Final Fantasy, or um, Star Wars until the end of time, as I'm trying to get all the map percentage or something. And they fall down. Yeah, there's uh, two different Youth League soldiers and two different um, Yevon soldiers that you fight around here. There's, uh, what are we on, five there? Let's go up here. None of the direct roads are open, okay. Gotta get to the temple. One around here somewhere. So that'll be six. Ah, uh, two more enemies. I'm not sure if they're new, but they're here. As you can tell, this is pretty much what the rest of chapter one and most of chapter two is as far as combat goes. We've got a good uh, party now. And we've got enough levels that we can really just kind of hold down the button and we win. So it's kind of dull when it comes to the uh, strategy there. Maybe around here somewhere. There he is. So that's just, what, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight should be right around here. There we go. Cross the bridge. Hello. No one's allowed through here. We can't get from the outside to the inside, or the inside to the outside. <laughs> Alright, should be another monkey around here somewhere. Quit monkeying around! Found another one there. And here. One right on the corner. There we go. And, and then to go up here and get this one, we have to kind of continue with the plot here. Um, we want to, want to just peek in here a little bit. I believe this is required for 100%. I don't think they allow you to go through without doing this, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you have to do it one way or the other, at least as far as I know. They've forgotten their passwords. You heard before they were talking about Youth League passwords. These are the new Yevon guys, and they're talking about their passwords. One more time. If the number of guards at the checkpoint is odd, you use the password carved monkey. And here, they'll give you an option. We want to watch some more. Are you still paying attention? The number of gods is even. It's Craven Monkey. 
Makes me think of uh, Spider-Man the Animated Series and Kraven the Hunter. All right, so let's go over this way. So there's one more around here and somebody to talk to. Gotcha. Yeah, if you don't have uh, Absorb from this guy, then you can get it here if you so desire. What do you have to say? And you forgot the password again. Okay, so it's right. Yeah, it's kind of behind the tree. It's hard to find that one. And yeah, enough already. We don't need to do that. All right. Riku's talking about a wrap every time I win a fight, and I'm starting to feel it's lunchtime. Uh, there should be one around here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, you're right on the corner. That's right. There we go. Found a squatter monkey. There are still new enemies, which is why I haven't uh, turned off the encounters uh, entirely right now. I guess I can show these guys off. They're kind of new-ish. Signed and sealed. They're, oh, excuse me. They're all kind of the same, all the generic soldier types. Uh, where are we here? Come on. Where is it? It's supposed to be one right on the thing, and I just got it in the previous attempt. Did I already get this one, or? Okay. Well, here's the, uh... Not quite new enemy. You actually need to prepare for this guy. You don't really need to set up a defense if you don't want to, but it won't hurt. So uh, this guy can do quite a bit of damage when he decides to use his uh, his splash like this. That can deal up to 900 damage if you're uh, not protected in any way against it. So making sure you're healed up probably would be a good idea at the start. <laughs> But yeah, as long as you're healed or you've got uh, protect on, you should be fine. We won. Yes, we did. All right. So, why did I already get that one? Anyway, there's another one down here we want to pick up. And for defeating that oversold uh, proto chimera, I got a null blaze ring. I think you can get any of the null abilities from him. So there should be the second last, unless I got the one on the corner already. Uh, if you go down here, there's a section that wasn't available in the original Final Fantasy X. And this leads us away from the music and up to that uh, little thing that I was pointing out before. And we get a Mega Elixir for our troubles. Nice. Don't think I had one of those yet. Not that I will be using it. Um, so I think that's pretty much all for the enemies. Did I get this one already or something? I could have swore I didn't get that one already. I'll have to check the footage to see if I got that one or not. But, uh, anyway, let's, uh, pull up the enemy list here. The, uh, wasps, uh, if we haven't seen one, the poison wasps, they're a death dauber. Uh, they have 78 HP, 312 when they oversoul. And they are weak to fire. I guess I already got it or something? I swear I didn't get this one, though. Weird. That is so weird. Uh, it, yeah, so this guy's the wasp guy, if I haven't shown him. He can do sleep and poison, uh, but not really anything to worry about. Uh, the red elementals have 99 HP, 336 when they oversoul, weak to ice. Uh, League fighters and League scouts have 168 and 128 HP accordingly. And we have Yevon defenders and Yevon guards having 186 and 223 HP accordingly. Nine, none of the humans will oversoul. Uh, Stalwart, the armored enemy we fought before, has 1240 HP, 1312 for the oversoul. And the Proto Chimera has 420 and 1680 for Oversoul, and that's it. Okay. So I guess I already got that. Whatever. Not sure. I'll have to check the footage on that one. Alright, save. This time, yeah, we already got to the end. I already did this once before, as I was saying at the start of the episode, so we'll save over that one. We'll try again. I got a good feeling about this one. I don't. Stop making me run into encounters right before we get to uh, the cutscene here. Go away. 
I don't want to fight you guys. Already over leveled as is. Alright, so if you remember, even was Craven Monkey. So there's four guards. Do the right one. And you'll get uh, rewarded for doing it, uh, I think, on all of the other subsequent attempts here. So here, there's three of them, including the one that's behind the uh, thing there. I'll just wait for him to show up. There you go. So we want to do Carved Monkey. And for doing that, we get a high potion. Woo! And here, there's four guards. Uh, they'll change the camera angle to give you a better idea of it. Uh, this one is actually more confusing because all you need is that one to show how many are there. Here we want to do Craven, And we get an ether for that. Don't shoot at me! What's wrong with you? Well, there's uh, three of you, so carved monkey. And one other guy shows up. And if you wait, another one shows up there. Uh, you have to press the button from uh, when they ask you to this uh, dialog box in order for him to show up there. So two more showed up when there was three before for a total of five, meaning it's still odd. And we get a turbo ether for our troubles, as well as the menace of the deep garment grid, which is the water equivalent to the other ones that we had access to before. Uh, let's see, we want to change our equipment now. Uh, everyone, beef time. And we want to have easy access to warrior and then back to gun mage. So that's what we'll be doing there. Uh, everyone is a thief before heading up here. Which is why I keep telling you. Shut up. Just give us the sphere and we'll be on our way. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, I found the sphere. There you have it. Well, there's that. Uh -oh. What's that? Oh, it's that guy. Yeah, if you remember Final Fantasy X, he was there in, I think, Omega Ruins and in Sin, and he had lots of HP. I had a little something prepared for just such an occasion. He does not nice have you. anywhere near the amount of HP this time around. He's immune to pretty much any status effect. Uh, 1,935 HP, 4831 if he oversouls. He's immune to gravity, um, and we have something we would like to steal from him. Let's take this one apart! Saddling him is very much as you would expect. Okay, so we got those. He's exactly as you would expect him to be, considering, you know, what he is. Uh, so, let's see, we want to get armor break on him, and we want to get power break on him, and unit change there, and then everybody moves up to gun mage. There we go. Everybody is a gun mage, and set up mighty guard. And set up White Wind. And do I have anything that'll deal damage to you? No. So yeah, that's pretty much the boss fight right there. And when I say that's pretty much the boss fight, I mean it. He's uh, got, what, two rounds max? And he's gone. Yeah, he does Glass Punch. He has a kind of a complicated uh, targeting setup there. Um, if you're interested in taking a look at it, uh, he'll either target whoever's furthest away, or who's got the lowest HP, or random. Either way, he's not particularly difficult uh, to deal with. Like not bad at all. She has nothing to say. <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing? Acting like ditzes. Actually, we're spear hunters. Yeah. For the musica. So? Go Wings, let's go! Sorry, Donna. The sphere is ours. Stolen! And... There's our getaway ride. Awesome. Brother actually did something useful for once. What a weird looking airship, man. Yeah, the girls just run away. The ditzy ones, anyway. 
And Payne's like, I'm gonna be a badass, I'm gonna steal this and just piss people off. Chapter one complete. And for defeating the boss, we get a wristband. And a fiendtail bonus for completing chapter one. Save your progress. Uh, let's uh, save over the start of chapter two again. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Next time we'll start up chapter two. And yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.